Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. For Thursday, we're talking about more vulnerabilities in Lenovo software. You probably remember a while ago when I talked about Superfish. This was some additional software that shipped with Lenovo devices. It turns out to be adware because it would redirect your browser to ads, but worse yet, it suffered from a vulnerability that pretty much compromised the integrity of all your SSL connections. Today, IOActive released details about three vulnerabilities in more of Lenovo's pre-shipped software. In fact, the vulnerabilities affect the software update service Lenovo uses to update its own software. Two of the flaws are elevation of privilege uh, issues. Basically, if I can log into your Windows computer even as a low privilege user, I can exploit these flaws to gain full control of that computer. The big one, however, is a remote code execution flaw affecting the software update tool. Basically, the tool uses SSL TLS, a secure communication to accept its updates, but it doesn't fully validate the trust chain of a certificate. So basically, a bad guy can sign malware with a specially malformed or fake certificate, and the update tool will take it. Now, to do this, the bad guy has to do a man-in-the-middle attack. He has to get into your traffic somehow but it is a pretty serious vulnerability. Now, the good news is Lenovo's released a patch for this already, so you can go get it. However, a better tip might be not to use OEM providers pre-ship software. If you work in an IT organization, it's pretty common to re-image your laptops. When you do, I recommend you use a clean installation of Windows that you've configured yourself. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.